Quick little disclaimer, I've just filmed my entire video and realised that my voice memo app stopped recording. So I record like separate audio on the voice memo app because my camera also focuses the lens so you can hear it. So apologies in advance because that's all you're going to hear throughout this video and hopefully in the next video I'll have my shit together and have it sorted but I do apologise. Hi beauties! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Ashley Elizabeth and this is my YouTube channel where I create mainly makeup tutorials. So make sure you subscribe before you leave if you want to see more makeup tutorials. Today's video is all about this look here and we've created this look using all drugstore products. So if you saw my last video where I did a full face of high end which totaled a whopping five over £500, this look look I think comes in just under around about the 120 mark you can still create a gorgeous makeup look on more affordable and drugstore brand there drugstore is really up at its game it's not about like high-end and drugstore now the sort of like coming together so if you would like to see how to achieve this look right here and the products I've used and some recommendations from me Please stay tuned. Okay, so let me just zoom you in. That'll do. That, that's close enough than what anyone needs to be to my face. I'm super excited to get started with all these drugstore goodies. So to prime the eyelid, I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C2. And I'm just going to use that to prime the eyelid today because I didn't really have a drugstore eye primer. So I'm actually just going to blend that in using my Morphe Beauty Sponge today. I've been so used to doing brows at the end of my makeup look, I completely forgot that I wanted to do brows first today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm actually going to use my NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade today. Now if you saw the video, I actually listed this product as one of my 2017 fails of the year as I just didn't like it at all. I thought the product was really dry and just didn't work for me in the slightest. But I did sort of one droplet of my Kiehl's Daily Reviver Concentrating Oil into it just to, you know, soften it up a bit and give it a bit more moisture. And since then, it's been completely different. So I'm just taking the shade Brunette and I'm just going to start sketching out my brow. That colour is just a little bit too light and a little bit too warm for my hair. So I am just going to go over the top with a touch of my Sleek Brow Kit Duo in the shade Dark. I'm just going to deepen up sort of the tail end of the brow. For brow gel today I'm just going to go in with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in black. And I'm just going to run that all through the brows just to make sure they stay in place all the live long day. I am super excited today because I get to test out the Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2 palette. Now this is the palette of my dreams. Warm toned heaven, orange, pinks, browns. This is absolutely incredible and with it only costing a whopping £4, I could not resist. So first I'm just going to dip into that shade there just on my crown c433 blending brush i'm just going to pack that on into the crease oh she pigmented oh well i did not expect that let me zoom you in a bit more so you can see and just to blend that out of course i'm going to gab in with that gorgeous orangey shade Okay, so that's not as orange as I had hoped. Like in the pal in the pan it looks like really, really orange. But it's more of like a, a muted brownie orange. I'm not mad. So far, so good. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in with that first shade and just deepen that brown back up and bring it up slightly higher. So 
I'm just going to take that red shade in the top left corner and I'm first just going to pack that on the outer third of the eye and then just bring that up through the crease So I am going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just going back in with a touch of that Revolution Concealer and I'm just going to do like a half cut crease. Just while that's still a bit wet and tacky, I'm just going to go ahead and set the lid using this shade on the Revolution palette. But I'm just going to spritz my brush first with a touch of my Mario Badescu spray. So it picks up some pigment. Just for sort of the center bit of the eye, I'm going to gab in with the pinky shade, pinky shimmer shade. I'm just going to use that to sort of bridge the gap between the light and the dark. Then just with that first brown shade we used, I'm going to use that to diffuse the, the outer edge. So I'm really not loving the Revolution Concealer to cut the crease. I don't know if you can see, but my eyelid just looks so crinkly and wrinkly. I think it's just too dry and too matte to act as like, you know, sort of to cut your crease with. So I would not recommend that at all. Okay, so that is both eyes completed. This eye just seems really, really dry and crusty. I'm not sure if it's the shimmers or the concealer underneath because I know I put more eyeshadow on this eye than this eye. I don't know whether that one looks, that's why that looks a bit more sort of wrinkly. I look at the fallout all over my face. Yeah, so I'm I'm unsure of the, of the shimmers at the moment, but the rest of the palette is just as gorgeous. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. So I was going to pop off camera and do me liner and lashes and stuff but then thought well I'm using drugstore products anyway so I may as well just do it on, on camera. For mascara I'm just going to take the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition Mascara. Okay, so lashes are on and that is the only non-drugstore item in this whole video and these are the Tatty Lashes in I think it's TL35 I want to say. So now I guess it's time for the face so let's zoom you back out. So for foundation today I was torn between which two foundations to use. So the first one is the Maybelline, Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This foundation is absolutely in incredible coverage on it is amazing i think it's about 9.99 in super drug and boots so this one is unreal but i've decided not to use this one today because i have used it in a couple tutorials already so i thought i'd mix it up and go with something different the foundation i'm actually going to go for is this highly highly anticipated primark my perfect color longwear ultimate matte foundation double coverage matte finish now this is the one that is the people say the, it's the dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now I've never tried the Estee Lauder Double Wear so I can't say if it's a dupe or not. I've got the shade Ivory which is a good match for me although I do think it oxidised slightly which I I came to expect because it's sort of like a Primark foundation. I did expect it to have a little bit of oxidisation. Is that a word? Oxidisation? This comes in at a lovely £5 so if this is a dupe for the double wear it'll save you so on the Debenhams website uh, the Estee Lauder double wear is £33 at the moment so if this is a dupe this will save you a lovely £28 20, 29, 30, 30, 30, 30. yeah £28 this will save you so so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna dip the end of my brush into the foundation and just paint it on my skin because I can't find me little silver spatula either I'm not gonna dip my brush in because it doesn't fit And we all know that I like a lot of foundation, so I am taking a lot of this foundation. It's got a weird smell. I don't know if it's a weird smell, it's sort of like baby lotion. I 
This has definitely got a strong smell to it. I can't put my finger on it. Is it. If anyone's used this foundation and knows what I'm on about, please tell me what the smell is below. Basically covered, so I am just going to blend that out using my beauty sponge. And I can go back in and build up some coverage if I need it. feels quite sticky for a foundation as well. I don't know if I'm just making all these things up, but it does feel a bit like my sponge is sticking to my face. So I'm definitely going to go back in and build up some coverage. So just like the most coverage on my cheeks. So that's the foundation on its own applied. A um, bit of a mixed review, really. I mean, the colour's nice. It's a nice match considering the price point and where it's come from because places like that don't usually tend to have a good range of colours. I'm not sure of the whole range of foundations. It's taken a little while to dry down as well. I wouldn't say it was 100% matte because I'm still quite shiny but I mean I have just put it on so it might take a little while to dry down. I think I I like the Maybelline colour stay a lot more. The coverage of that is unreal from the get-go. You don't need to lay it up. There's no weird smell. This foundation has definitely got a weird smell to it and I just can't put me put my finger on what it is. But yeah I mean it's not the worst for five pounds it's a good foundation if you were you know if you were strapped for cash one month you can always just go and give this a go but for me it's it's a no i'm not really a huge huge fan so now i'm going to go on to concealer and i'm going to go back in with my revolution conceal and define concealer and i've got the shade c2 i'm just going to use that under my eyeballs and i'm just going to use it to highlight the sort of central areas of my face so in between the brows and the forehead don't really need to say much about this concealer because I'm sure you've all heard it by now. This concealer is amazing. Again, £4. Makeup Revolution are just slaying it this year. Oh, the smell of that foundation is just making me feel sick. Someone please, please tell me what the smell is. And as always, for the harder to reach areas, I'm going in with my fluffy brush. And I'm taking this right up to the waterline as well because we've got no eyeshadow on the lower lash line just yet. So just while the underneath of my eyes is still tacky, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the under eye with the eyeshadows I've used on the top. <laughs> And I'm just going to take that shade that we used across the lid just to highlight the inner corners. I'm just using my finger to do this. I'm having a brow bad. A bad a blah, 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 blah. I'm having a bad brow day, so it's the best it's going to get. But now that the foundations had a little time to sit, it's just it's still not completely dried down like you, I don't know if you can see it I've still got sort of a sheen to my skin so I wouldn't say this was like an ultra matte foundation and my face still feels quite sticky and quite tacky I'm gonna do some cream bronze and contouring so I'm just gonna take my L'Oreal infallible long wear shape and foundation stick and I like to use this as like a cream contour and I have this in my makeup kit as well I use this on clients I think it's brilliant you don't need a lot at all a little goes a very long way and I do like to blend that out just using my Real Techniques contour brush. Once all the harsh edges are blended in, I do like to just go back in with my beauty sponge and just dab over and just to you know, really soften up the lines and make sure it's all blended in nicely. So now it is time for powder and I don't know if this really counts as a drugstore powder but it is affordable so I thought I would include it because it's an affordable powder and I will be taking RCMA No Colour Translucent Satin Powder. I'm just using my Peaches and Cream PC02 brush to just pack that powder onto the skin. My brows are awful today. I do apologise because they are a disgrace. 
Then just on my Morphe sponge, I'm picking up a touch of that powder and just baking underneath the contour line. Make it look like we've actually got some cheekbones. So while that bakes, I'm just going to go ahead and do some powder bronzing. Now I was uh, a bit dubious over whether to include this bronzer because the brand is drugstore, but the price of this wasn't very drugstore friendly. So I was a bit... Mm. So for bronzer, Kiko Milano Summer 2.0 Baked Bronzer in Sun Celebration Honey. I think I paid about $16.99 for it, which for drugstore does seem a bit like that's crazy but look at the size of it i'll have to close it so it doesn't all fall out it's huge so i am going to include it because kiko milano is definitely a drugstore brand so i'm just taking my zoeda 126 looks cheap finish and i'm just going to stick all that bronzer on everywhere i've just popped the foundation stick And I know Kiko Milano is not sold in the likes of Superdrug and Booth, but they do have their own. They have two stores in Manchester. I'm not sure about anywhere else in the country. It's not that inaccessible. So now it's time for contour and I'm going to go ahead and take, gonna take my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and just focus that more towards the back by the ear. Just add a bit more depth. We want a forehead, not a five head. Get rid of that double chin. See, look how skinny. We've got a small head, we've got cheekbones, we've got one chin. And then just whatever's left on the brush, I just like to scoop the sides of my nose. So I'm just dusting away the beak. And while I'm there, I'm just going to sort of soften up the line underneath again. Just so it's not so harsh. So now I am going to highlight, and this has to be one of my all-time fave drugstore products. One of my fave all-time highlighting products because it is just unreal and I can't believe it's drugstore. So I'll be taking my Sleep Solstice Highlighting Palette, which is just beautiful. But I'm going to go in with my Morphe M510 brush. I'm just going to dip into a mixture of them all. Just, I mean, look at that. For less than £10, you can glow so bright that Jesus will see you from heaven. So I'm just hitting all the spots I like to put my highlighter pretty much everywhere. Then I like to hit just above my eyebrows. And then lastly, a dot on the chin. Nikki Tutorials is not the only queen of glow anymore. 10 great British pounds. So for blush, it's a bit of a controversy today. I did plan on using the Makeup Revolution Sugar and Spice Palette. So I went to retrieve it from my mum's room because I gave it to her a while ago. She's only gone and thrown it away. But I did find three of the Makeup Revolution, the matte blush. Now I have Googled these and I don't think they make them anymore, which is a bit unfortunate fortunate i'm still going to use them makeup revolution do still create blushes so i'm assuming they're going to be pretty similar to these these are really old i got these like two years ago i did have my morphe 9n blush palette which i use it every single video since the dawn of time but i was fed up i didn't want to use that in like a drugstore video because i think that palette on beauty bay is like 22 pounds which to me is not really drugstore even though i used a 17 pound bronzer but we'll skip past that so yeah i'm just gonna go in with this one here so this is the makeup revolution the matte blush in beloved powdery let's tap some of that off just gonna stipple that onto my cheeks For lip liner, I'm going to take my NYX lip pencil in mauve, 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 mauve. NYX lip liners are incredible as well. And if you've watched any of my recent videos, I think you'll know where I'm going with the lips. Of course, it's got to be Primark. I am obsessed with Primark lip uh, lip products at the moment. Some of their lip glosses are absolutely unreal. These were no more than £3 each. A lot of them have gone on sale, so they were a pound each. I think they were, they were getting rid of them. But Primark makeup at the moment 
is doing incredible lip lip products are the one for lips liquid lipstick i'm going to go in with the ps instagirl intense liquid lipstick in like that i'm just going to pop that on all over the lips and these don't smell weird like the foundation then just to go over the top i'm going to take my peach oil lip gloss in peach forever oh incredible it does actually smell like peaches and I love it. I'm just going to pop that right in the centre with the lips. Then I'm just going to blend that in with my finger. To finish everything off and get everything set in place and rehydrated, I'm going to go in with my Mario Badescu spray with rose water. So I'm just going to spritz that all over the skin. And that is today's finished look. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And this look in total comes in at amazing. It makes a huge difference compared to the full face high end, which was over £500, which was ridiculous. I thought I'd do this video, help, help a sister out. You know, I get a lot of people messaging me all the time saying, you know, what's the best drugstore foundation for them or some good alternatives to, to expensive products. And I do use a lot of drugstore and more affordable products in my makeup kit. They're brilliant. There's no need. I think in this day and age, drugstore drugstore makeup products have come a long way. They, they're not as bad as they used to be. I remember when I was younger, like not even 10 years ago, but I'm 25 now. Even when I was about 18, 18, 19, 20, drugstore makeup was just awful. Yeah, drugstore makeup was just absolutely awful. It was all like ugly colours and no pigmentation, no coverage foundations. And now some of my most favourite products are drugstore products. They have just come an absolutely long way and they are still smashing it. The likes of Makeup Revolution is absolutely smashing this year. Can't wait to see where they go. And some of their quality has taken over some of the high-end the high-end brands. I thought I'd do this video just to share some of my favourite drugstore product you can still create amazing makeup looks with more affordable products you don't have to go out and buy the most expensive thing just because something has got a, a high-end name on it doesn't mean it's good just because something's got a drugstore name on it doesn't mean it's bad so that is all from me today so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big fat thumbs up and if you want to see more tutorials from me then don't forget to hit subscribe while you're down there and you may as well hit the bell while you're there so you're notified straight away when I upload a video. Also don't forget to head over to my Instagram it'll be here or here that's where I post most of my makeup selfies and client makeup pictures and stuff like that if you're into that kind of thing and you want to see more client pictures or more of this gorgeous face head over to the Instagram and give me a follow. But yeah, that's all from me today. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!